Between a normal person has GABA, which slows them down, and they have a certain amount of glutamate, right, which makes them agitated, right? You have a balance. What happens when you drink alcohol or take Valium, what happens is that moment that you drink, GABA goes up, right? You feel calm, collective, socializing, go to a party, you can actually say your name and be proud of everything, right? Because you're uninhibited, uninhibited, we could say, and then because of the high glutamate, or high GABA, right? The glutamate stays the same. The next day, drops back to normal. But you do this over night after drinking, drinking and drinking, doing that, pretty soon when you stop drinking the next morning, what happens? The GABA falls down, because it's exhausting. And then what are you gonna do? Now you're gonna balance between GABA and glutamate. You have more glutamate than you do GABA, therefore what's gonna happen? You're gonna feel shaky, tremulous, and then you're gonna do, wanna do what? Take another drink. You don't want to take another drink or Valium because you want to raise that GABA back up again, right? And any time that somebody has a neurochemical imbalance they're either born with or they induce or are caused by alcohol or drugs, then that is called what? Craving. It's called craving. See what I mean? So you've induced a, a neurochemical imbalance. Now what's important about this balance too is that slowly over time, the glutamate will start climbing up. Glutamate, glutamate will start climbing up. So you have to take more and more to even get a GABA effect, balance out of it. So what happens now, we have an alcoholic drinking a, a pint a day, or somebody is doing a lot of the Vicodins, so, or not the Vicodin, but the, uh, but the, uh, you know, the benzodiazepines or the pills and so forth. And then what are you gonna get? You have to maintain that. You have to maintain it, drink 24-7, just to keep from going into seizure activity. Now this thing is way up here. Now I drop the GABA down here, like this, and that's what causes grand mal seizures. And you'll notice that people who have been through detox many times, that if, when they drink within a week, they stop, they're very shaky, nervous, they'll go through DTs, and they'll have another grand mal seizure. It's a 70% seizure risk if you've had a grand mal seizure prior to this. And then if you throw this whole thing off balance again, it remembers how you were before when you had all this anxiety. So that's a, that's a tremendous thing. We also have drugs that will try to correct this balance. We'll try to drop this. We'll try to raise this. And there are Topamax. Topamax tries to shift the GAB up and the glutamate down. Campril. Campril is a drug that helps sobriety and helps the imbalance uh, long term to try to give you three times the sobriety rate, three times the